emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here. Festa 67's workshop. And welcome to part five of the build up of the Suzuki GSX RR MotoGP bike. And what are we going to be doing today? Well, I think we'll get the final parts of the build up done. And with a bit of luck, we'll be able to do the reveal as well. So we'll just get that off of the paddock stand there and move that out of the way. And we'll start bringing in some odds and bods and things like that, folks. Don't forget, if you'd like to build this bike along with me, head over to emodels.co.uk. Grab it from the store. The link is in the description below. And slap it in your basket, folks. And you too could have one of these rather splendid bikes on your shelf, folks. So we'll just put the front mud guard on like so. Uh, that's glued in place and as you can see them tyre decals really did settle down well so folks let's watch the last episode and you'll see how I did then so we'll just dab a little bit of the old extra fin on the sides here on the brake caliper covers and then we'll want them into place as well and this is just the little fiddly bits and pieces now stage of the build and you just slide that over the front of the caliper like so and then use your thumbs just to slide it roughly into place and then just turn it on the brake disc and it will locate in a couple of little cutouts on the forks there folks and once it's in it's in you don't need to slaver the extra fin on and it just rests in place like so and then let your glue dry the wheel still turns but I shall tighten these wheels up anyway because it's going under the counter at Stoke. So it's going to be in a safe place. So I can tighten the wheels up and it stops it sliding around on their shelf up there, folks. But the more I look at the bike, the more I'm happy with the subtleties of some of the exhaust weathering and things like that. It's not too much. Less is more sometimes. And pleasantly pleased with how they've come out. And that's the whole idea of this build is just using stuff that we'll all have on the bench all of the things i've used on this kit you can get at e models folks so you can have a little looky loo and treat yourselves right let's just move that there and put the lid back on just in case because we're at the use moving the body panel stage so the fuel cell goes in underneath like so and this is what throws a lot of people with these moto gp bikes is the fact that the riders sit in astride the fuel tank and i go oh really but yeah because the main fuel what would be the fuel tank on a road bike actually has all the electronics and the air box in it on the racing bikes so the fuel tank sits underneath there and it is a quite a resistant press fit but it will go in folks it's just a matter of getting it located and there's a lug that that sits on just underneath there and just press that into place and it will it will go I'm just desperately trying not to scratch any of the decals but yeah look at that and then you've got the cover underneath there so we've got some decals to put on that in a bit i want to brush paint the camera this sits just behind the rider's backside on the uh just behind the seat pan so i'll give that a little brush and then we can decal underneath uh the rear end of the bike with the sponsor decal under there so that's had a satin black coat on there so we can just whop the decal on there then there's enough gloss on it for the decal to bite and then i'll sure once the decal's dried just go over and reapply a satin varnish under there just to protect the decal so we'll let the solution go off 
and the solutions I've been asked about that I use are the UMP Ultimate Decal Solutions, the normal strong and extra strong folks. A few people have been in touch and asked me about the set of three that are just behind the rear wheel of the bike there, just off camera. And it is the Ultimate Decal Solutions. So hopefully that'll help you folks out because they really do conform the decals beautifully. So worth grabbing yourself a set. So we'll just move this decal into place. This is where <laughs> a lot of folks cringe when I use my knife to move my decals. But for me, it works. Um, but yeah, but on this particular one, it seems not to need too much movement. So we'll let that go off. And then we've got this little bit to go on just underneath there like so so I'll rest that in with me finger and I'll just give that a little dab the magical mystery glue bottle works its way around my bench <laughs> it might it does quite a few laps does more laps than this bike <laughs> just secure the lid just in case and then we can bring the bike down and lay it down I've put the blue cloth down just to protect the bike and the decals and the finish where I'm going to be laying it down and moving it around as the panels go on so I could do it on the jig but yeah because oh, I've got screws and that to put in sometimes I just prefer to rest the bike down on its side but have a nice soft cloth that you can rest it on and it should protect all your all your delicate surfaces peeps but at that angle i must admit that's really really does look quite sexy so i'm pleasantly patting myself on the back for this one because i've had quite a lot of feedback on this uh and people have got in touch and i've enjoyed the series and like the subtleties of the exhaust and have you know really sort of picked up on it and uh and they're going to have a go at doing their own so i'm really chuffed i'm really pleased that you all have found this a nice interesting build i mean i predominantly do bikes anyway so i am gearing the e-models content mainly to bikes from my my side but i should be doing some shiny cars for them as well so keep an eye out folks for the future videos i want to get quite a few builds done for them and, and have them a quick session. I'd like to do one a month, but at the moment where real life is getting in the way, I'll probably do one every couple of months. So I shall get a couple of selections from them and have a looky loo. Uh, if you'd like to, to see me do a particular car or a particular bike leave a comment in the comment section underneath this video because i read all the comments and if you if you have seen a particular bike or car on their store that you think yeah i'd like i'd like fester to have a go at building that then let me know leave a comment and i will add it to my build list folks I'll also give you a mention. This build was requested by blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there you go. Right. Time to put some hoses together. Now, this is a fiddly thing. So some of these I'll do on camera and the rest I shall do off. But you're just basically pulling the cables that you've done earlier out and then clipping them to the appropriate pins on the handlebars. And all the pin numbers and letters are all on the instructions folks so trace your hoses back to where they start and then you'll see where they all need to go and normally the one that comes up underneath the frame there i just give it a little tiny dab of glue so that it stays in place because the petrol tank can hold it down but sometimes the petrol tanks can clip off and you'll have a stray cable so i tend to where it goes under the the frame underneath the ecu and the air box i tend to just drop that pipe with a dab of glue right 
let's have a look to see how the tank dry fits, which it seems to dry fit rather splendidly. And there'll be a single screw that goes in each side of that tank. So we'll grab them and pop them in. So let's get me magnetic tin of screws of goodness and I'll keep a few of these in the man cave these little uh, parts tins back from my days as a mechanic you used to magnetize one of these under the sump of a car and you'd be taking all the bolts out flick all the bolts in there and then you wouldn't lose any see and since I stopped using the workshop I use them now for the man cave when I'm doing me Tamiya bikes for all the screws and detritus saved me many and many a heartache of them so we'll just drop that stand off because I don't want to lean on it and break it because the tissues will be up and then I'll just start to screw off and normally what I do on these screws and here's a top tip from Fester is before these parts actually go on at the early stages when I have just finished the paint job and it's dried I go back round with the screws and I screw them back into the frame it's almost like you're recutting the threads because obviously paint gets on them and at this stage it saves you a lot of heartache if you do put too much pressure on and you slip so remember that one folks once you've painted your parts if there's a screw to go in it just get the appropriate screw and see it and redo the screw holes far easier to do it when you haven't got a finished panel in place than it is when you have all right so let's just pop that off a sec because i've just forgotten one thing and that is the wrap around for the tank uh, the tank pad which on this one is the big long one and you've got some options here uh, the john and mia bike has the clear little panels on and the Alex Rins one and Sylvan Guintoli test bike normally have the tank wrap on the back end there so I'm just gonna peel this off and apply it to the tank so I'll just do that under my magnifier of bigness purely and simply because I want to get it in the right place if I can because it's a one-shot deal this but what I'm doing is I'm using the shape of the tank to determine where this starts and finishes and it wraps around the indentation around the tank and you'll see that when I bring it back into shot but apologies for taking it off a shot it's just I want to see how it goes and you'll see the tank pad if I don't drop it <laughs> once we start screwing the tank in see you're using the tank shape and it's just literally behind where this screw is going to go wrap it round along the bottom edge straight round the other side and it will just bink straight to the straight to the tank I was going to do it once the bike was assembled but I think I chose the easiest option there bung it on the tank before you put the tank on folks there you go much better I knew something was missing but I couldn't think what it was <laughs> yeah I don't get out much so we'll just sit the screws home just want to glue that pipe in i keep forgetting it folks <laughs> there it is see it this little one here all it does is it it's supposed to be held in place by the tank but as you can tell it slides forward so it's gonna have a dab of gorilla super glue slapped under there and it it's not going to be seen so yeah but hopefully then see when I pull it with me tweezers it will stay in place then because yeah it just keeps popping forward so me being a bit fussy I kind of just want to hold that in place whilst it just starts to set and then once the tank goes down and presses it it'll press it into the super glue I've just got me flat blade there that I can hold it with because I'll be a bit more thing with that and it's just holding it there until it bites folks like that 
because it's it's just frustrating that it keeps popping out and there you go see the tank will just sit over that and press down and it all stop it from popping forward right i'll put a screw down somewhere there it is just secure that to the screwdriver like so and then finally we can pop that in like so and this is where doing the threads earlier helps because the screw just goes straight in look at that whoa oh i want to take her out to lunch absolutely gorgeous still the most beautiful bike on the grid uh closely followed i must say by the aprilia now i'm really hoping it wins the world championship purely and simply because then to me it will build a bike of it and it's one to keep an eye out if you don't watch the motor gp have a look at this before the end of the 22 season because suzuki leave at the end of the year but also have a have a quick look at the aprilia and tell me that that flat black paint scheme don't make it look like a stealth bike it absolutely is beautiful but yeah so i'll just quickly button these down now under my lens of seeingness there you go can i make brum brum noises yet or would you rather me wait until the fairings are on <laughs> right let's have a little tidy up here uh, the camera's on the back end there as you can see from earlier on that's sitting there quite nicely but you just sit there and you look at all the modern features on these bikes and it's it's just amazing and we're beginning to see this on road bikes now where some of the things that have been going on in the prototype racing has now worked its way onto road for road going machinery so yeah it's really quite quite surprising all right we can put the clutch cover on so that just sits on its locators just on the side there get that into place right look at that oh let's just drop that on the stand and there's a couple of little lugs that stick out on the side of the swing arm there and all they do is they just rest into the little cups on the top of the paddock stand like so it just just sits there quite happily then all right so we'll just move that and then we'll look probably at getting the fairings and that on in a moment i think start the ball rolling with that it's coming on really well yeah definitely gotta make brum brum noises we're not far off folks we're not far off yeah look at this lot whoa in it hey just move that back one out of the way because that's now empty but yeah look at this lot whoa <laughs> i've been looking forward to showing you folks this i really have <laughs> yeah we're coming up to that that stage now where the bike starts getting its character yeah the, the fairings and that are going to be going on i'm going to do it so the bike is now ready for that stage so i'm just gonna gather all my bits and bobs together and then we'll start laying these out so we got the front fairing and then we'll have the two sides and then we'll have the belly pan to go on yeah and it just is beginning to feel real now so we'll just line these all up so you can see what we're up to by like that all that lot there's the destructions there showing me roughly what order they got to go in so i'll have them to my left now and then we can start lining things up now this is one of them stages where if you remember rightly the decals went on at the beginning before the engine and all of that lot went in 
So I fully expect a little bit of trimmage to occur where these these two silver side guards on the radiator on the frame. There don't seem to be a lot of clearance between them and the leading edge of the fairing there. So I'm going to fit them but not tighten them up just to see whether I need to trim any excess off of the edges of them. See where the letter U joins where my left thumb is. Them two plates on the side of the frame. They just seem to me not to have a great deal of clearance. So I might have to adjust that. Persuade them to fit slightly better. We'll see how everything lines up. But don't be too surprised if I suddenly pop the fair ends back off. And, and then they go back on again. I've just got that just got that feeling that it's a bit tighter than I remember when I put the decals on so we'll just move them see it's just a little resistance there so now that that fairing <clears throat> panel gap looks okay I can tighten the tank down to its full size the belly pans now on I did adjust the clearances by the way folks as you can see there's just a slightly bigger gap where I pop the covers off and run a scribe down them just trimmed a little little bit off to make them fit for me a little bit better <clears throat> just click the belly pan in place it locates on a couple of lugs on the radiator and then there's a tiny little screw hole back here I've just got a bit of white tack sticking on there don't want that on there do you Carl nah there you go and then you just pop that over like so and it will click into place each side of the radiator and then you can put the final screw in the side cover then just rest it on me thumb so that I don't stab the paintwork. I'd rather stab me thumb than the paint. And then take your time doing the screws. You've got plenty of time. It's no competition. Take as long as you need. And there you go. Just gently tease that screw into place now I've got my thumb just pressing up on the belly pan just so that it lines the join up with the decals and gives me a, a nice decent panel gap and then just deftly put the screw in all of a sudden she'll go in he hopes I think that might be too long actually let's just double check <clears throat> might be that I've picked up the wrong screw there you never know folks you just want that just to bed a bit better on that locating hole so let's have a quick quick inspection just to see whether or not there's something fouling inside might just be a bit of rogue white tack that it's picked up but it just seemed seemed to be catching on there so yeah just a bit of a build up on the paint there folks so we'll go for round two and try that now just to see where that creeps in it was almost like it was bottoming out but there it was looks like it was just a a little build up of the black paint on the inside it just dripped back into the hole there so it's going in now so I'm happier there you go look at that oh in it bink there you go look at that oh it's a thing of beauty in it really is Swing. So, let's have a look and drop the fairing on, shall we? 
don't forget, if you want to grab one of these for yourselves, folks, links in the description. Hop over to emodels.co.uk. Uh, massive, massive thanks to the guys at Stoke for allowing me to build this for them. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. It's been lovely with the feedback as well from all you wonderful people that have watched and got in touch and taken the time to ask questions and that. And it's it's been a, a breeze. It really has. Um, it is a work of art, that machine. Um, the guys at Tamiya have done an awesome job. I don't think any of you that build this will be disappointed. You really won't. It is a f absolute work of art it really is it's a fun build um, and yet yeah, I think the guys will be pleased to have that in their cabinet look at that so we're going to wrap up and let you see the final reveal and then I'll be doing the next build soon if you've got any ideas for future builds leave a comment below the video and I will look at adding it to the list but in the meantime, we're going to wrap up, let you see this in all its glory, folks. Thank you for joining me. Cue the brum brum noises. Brum 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 Yeah, stop the recording, Cole. There you go. Look at that. Oh. <laughs>